Hi, my name is Caleb Gentry, and I'm a teacher at Squim Middle School, about two and a half hours uh, from the Microsoft headquarters in Redmond. And this year, I'm going to be helping you through the Microsoft tutorials on Kodu. And first of all, I'm going to take a look at the materials that Microsoft has provided for you. So there should be a few major files. Uh, the first one is an install file for Microsoft Kodu itself. Uh, there are a couple prerequisites. One is .NET. Framework 4.0 and the XNA 4.0 refresh. Now, Microsoft has also provided uh, for you a Word document. This is a curriculum document and three tutorial files. So, if you're a student watching this right now uh, and you're going to be dealing with these tutorials directly, these are the three files that you want to take um, account of and pay attention to. So, obviously, they're ordered uh, tutorial one, two, and three. And I'm going to actually launch one of them and do a quick walkthrough of the tools in Microsoft Kodu. So I'm going to double click one and that should go ahead and launch our program. Now it's going to launch pretty quickly depending on the speed of your computer and this version of Kodu can actually be resized for different windows. Right now I'm going to run it inside uh, my recording window and you can see that as soon as it's launched it's going to give us prompts here. So these are integrated tutorial prompts that tell us exactly what we're going to be doing and there are three uh, videos to follow that walk you through each of those. Right now if I just hit continue though and let's say that I skipped a step there's not really an easy way to go back. You can see that each thing prompts us to do a different step but if we get lost in, in the tutorial the best thing to do is just go back to our files, relaunch the program, it'll take a couple seconds uh, but it's going to be worth it in the long run if you get lost or relaunch the tutorial. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, so that's relaunching your window. So now we're going to go into tutorial one and I'm going to hit exit tutorial. So the first thing is this bottom bar there's a whole bunch of tools and because uh, this is a game design tool and there's much more to it than just coding um, there are tools that we will not cover within the three tutorials that are covered later but I do want to pay attention to one particular tool and this is relevant if you're using a keyboard and mouse if you're using a game controller a 360 controller this will change but if you're using a keyboard and mouse the hand tool allows you to navigate so if I click this tool click and drag the mouse I can move around the level and I can keep clicking and moving I can also right click and spin the camera up and down and I can use the middle wheel to zoom in and out so when we're looking for characters within the map this tool is going to be critical for navigating the map so that's the first thing that we're going to want to pay attention to uh, you also want to pay attention to this little indicator here and this indicator can be turned off it just warns you if things are getting uh, too full so in world settings we can actually turn off the resource meter and we can also and, and enable or disable resource limiting so if that's something that's kind of getting in your way you can turn those things on and off uh, so once again the videos that are to follow are going to help you through uh, the hour of code uh, and I wish you good luck thank you